installation in Dalnir. My enchanter is uh, got some buffer into 33 now. I can die three or four times and not lose my level. Um, I uh, I just spent a little bit of time XPing in that big room right outside the drop down to the second floor that I showed on my last video, and uh, got some more gem drops. No amazing fights really. Actually got chased out of the zone a couple of times, um, even right by the entrance because. Uh, I was having trouble dealing with casters and a few repops that saw in Viz. Somebody came through and killed stuff, I guess. And uh, I kept getting chased out right at the entrance because I'd get, eat a couple dots or a harm touch or something when I wasn't paying attention. But, <clears throat> but I'm back into here now. Um, I saw earlier that there is a one of the biles that sees invisible um, up in here near the drop down. So I'm probably going to at the very least clear this area out and then scout up in there to see what I want to do. If I want to try to lull the bile and go in there, or if I want to kill it one way or the other, whether that means charming it and just letting it die and gating out, um, hoping my gate doesn't collapse, because that seems to happen a lot just when you need it to uh, actually work. Or if I'm going to kill it, you know, legitimately. Um, start with clearing this stuff out. And uh, you know, I've noticed the Ixar Necromancers for some reason never have a pet. The other nec Necros do, but the Ixars just cast a lot of spells. I always thought they were monks. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll clear this stuff out and hopefully not get eaten up by poison dots and stuff too much. And then uh, see about dealing with that bile and then drop down to the second level. There were a couple pe people in here earlier, but none right now. I don't remember exactly how much higher stuff gets when you drop down. I don't think it's much. I think most of the trash in here, this stuff is like 25 to 29. I think the trash down a level lower might be like two or three levels higher on average, but it's not much of a difference. So um, shouldn't be too much trickier than this, other than learning my way around the spawns and stuff. Kind of feeling lazy. I don't really want to deal with. She had... Well, there goes my hit points. I'm gonna be half dead by the time I get finished with all this. I'm madden up forever just to move down to the next fight. trying to decide if I want to fight and try to clear out this bile, but then in the process of clearing it out, probably another one will respawn of one of the ones I kill, and then if I have to corpse run, I'm going to have to deal with it. So I'm either going to lull it and run past, but I need to heal up first before I try that, or um, clear out just a little bit more space and uh, charm the bile and just have him suicide, just let him die, fighting the other stuff that's down in the room, and then either mez it all and blur it, or um, gate out and come back so that it's clear, and hopefully the, the, that monster doesn't respawn as another bile, so that way I can invis my way through here easily if I need to corpse run. There actually earlier was a bile spawned out here closer to the entrance too, but I ran past it, and uh, there were two right there, I killed one of them, and then uh, suicided him off, and then the second one didn't aggro, and then I ran past, and it didn't aggro, so I seem to remember reading something on the wiki about Dalnir that sometimes the nibblers and the biles will con KOS, and the biles see through invis, but it's intermittent, or 
kind of sporadic, whether they actually aggro you or whether they just, uh, you know, let you run right past, even though they con like they're going to attack you. So I'm going to use the little gnome trick here and look again a little more closely at what is in the next room to see if it's something I... Well, I already laid out my options a few times, I just have to pick which one I want to do really. So there you have it. This this is the room, you know, you see the stairs coming up here, <laughs> I tried to point with my finger. Oh, it's a bile respawn right there, I'm going to have to kill him. But, uh, you know, you come up these stairs and then you go right down another flight of stairs into this room with the drop down that leads down. Oh, great, there's a bile down there, too. Um, I don't think anything paths right under that pit ever, either. So it's not like I can look down the pit and uh, there might be like an invisible wall also that you can't see through. It's not like I can look down the pit and target something at the bottom to use fine sight to try and scout around with. So kind of just uh, gonna have to levitate down there across my fingers and hope that I don't aggro more than two things when I hit the bottom. This guy looks like he's awfully close to the edge so I'll probably sit here for a minute and watch where this bile paths around and depending on where he moves I'll know what direction when I'm dropping down through this pit to run when I come out the bottom um, in hopes of if the bile does aggro me he doesn't you know hit me and expose me to other things aggroing directly also until I'm, you know, out in the corner or something. Um, hopefully he just paths back and forth there, so when I drop down the pit, I'll run into this corner right here. And uh, hopefully he won't aggro and Invis will stay up and I won't get all this stuff coming at me. Because it looks like I p could potentially end up with four mobs chasing me when I come down that pit, which would be pretty rough to deal with. But, first of all, I need to get past this thing, which I don't know like I just saw another bile over here too. Somebody really cleared through here and uh, spawned a lot of pain in the butt stuff. I don't know if he just wanders back and forth right there with those other two mobs or uh, what exactly. I haven't paid close enough attention. But regardless, right now I need to kill this bile that's up on top here. And I'm, I'm going to try and leave those two static spawns over there up and uh, to save time and not have to worry about clearing them. I don't think I'll aggro them unless I have a runner really go crazy on me. Ugh. Well, at least when I recharm him, it's going to cancel that dot. So, anytime you charm something that's got a debuff on you, it cancels the debuff when you charm. So that's a nice thing when you, uh, you know, are charming a caster. At least you can get rid of, especially at high levels when stuff casts dots that do like a thousand or more damage on you. At least you know you can charm it again to get rid of the dot. Sometimes it's even worth switching pets, at least temporarily, uh, to clear a dot off yourself. It's safer than, um, and easier than trying to use consumable potions to cure spells or to dispel spells or know, pine wound and troll form through it, but at low levels, uh, it's just kind of a convenience, it's not, you know, you're in trouble anyways if you get enough dots stuck on you that you're, uh, <laughs> that you're at risk of dying, you're, you know, in a tough spot anyways, it doesn't really help. I'll clear these and then move up to where the bile was and uh, peek through the wall up there. I don't think the stuff that paths around on the bottom that I just killed and that'll respawn here in five or ten minutes will aggro me when I'm sitting up there. I think that this pillar is going to be line of sight and the edge will be line of sight. So I'll be able to sit up there and kind of watch the pathing a little bit to get a feel for it uh, before I move in there to... Uh, this is not a... fight's not going very well, is it? I should have rooted him again before I, uh, well, sucked, sicked him on that guy. When you charm something, you can tell it to sit 
in the middle of a spell cast, and it interrupts his spell cast. It's kind of a nice little trick for. Here comes a uh, heat blood. Yep. Good times. Kind of a nice little trick for um, if your pet is, you know, because casters tend to beat up melee only mobs. So if your pet's beating something up too much and you want it to die at a similar time, or or if it's casting something that has a tendency to break roots and you don't want to don't want roots getting broken so you get summoned or whatever at higher levels. You can just have your pet sit down and it interrupts every spell cast. Quite convenient. So I'm definitely, yeah, I'm under half health now because of another dot and getting smacked up a little bit. So I'm going to be, um, I'll probably rebuff and heal up sitting in that corner over there uh, while these mobs respawn behind me. And, uh, Hopefully I'm correct that it is not a spot that I'm going to get aggroed in. And boy, just a little level 12 spell it really works me over. I actually used a lot of advantages earlier that I have on me uh, from my initially coming out here. Used a lot of them earlier when I was trying to deal with the golem or the biles that were respawned by the entrance on my way in. And, uh, so, I don't have a lot to keep my hit points up with. So, oh yeah, right here I'm good. I'm nothing below will aggro. And the stuff inside just passed to like this spot. They don't come out at all. So, I can sit here for at least 14 minutes or so um, safely while I get my hit points back up to move down there. It does look like those three NPCs right there just move back and forth in that little area and maybe one or two from the room beyond come back and stand there also. So uh, definitely the easiest way to go about getting rid of that bile is going to be just to... Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I could lull him and just run past him in viz, but then I'm going to have to do that again if I die and have to run back down there in a the corpse run. So. I'm going to try to get rid of him without killing anything else and hope that it respawns as something that's not a pain in the butt. But, uh, you know, one thing at a time. Fully rebuff myself while I'm sitting here waiting for my hit points to go up a little bit. Slow going, unfortunately, for you viewers. I'm sure you can probably skip ahead, uh, you know, five minutes or so. Um, and you won't really miss anything. I'll probably still just be sitting here finishing getting my hit points and mana back up after rebuffing myself fully. Well, that goo is coming a little closer to the stairs, but not very close. So it looks like I'm going to be using him to kill two things, including a at least one spellcaster. But, yeah, what's up? I muted my microphone. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I thought I muted my microphone. came downstairs to tell me something and I thought I was muting my microphone but I, I apparently was unmuting it and so maybe I'm not sure I'm gonna have to go check my video now to see if if I messed up my commenting for the last 20 minutes 14 minutes 18 seconds because I was uh, inverted on what I thought the microphone was doing yeah yeah that'd be pretty cool you watch 14 minutes of video and all the time that I think I'm talking to you, I'm not. And then the like two times that I think I'm muting so that I can cough without disturbing your poor eardrums. It's just me hacking up a lung is the only thing you hear in 15 minutes of watching the video. Well, anyways, I'll figure it out later. I don't know enough and I'm not motivated enough to find any kind of program to edit my videos, really. Even if it's just like cutting out a clip of something or whatever. Or uh, it's definitely not going to dub over anything. 
So uh, if I if I have 14 minutes of dead air, I'll just put a comment in when I upload the video that explains why it's that way. And apologize profusely for it. Oh well. <coughs> anyway, I've got all my rebuffs done, and I'm almost back to full mana, and my hit points are still very low. I thought about throwing Troll Farm on, but um, I am kind of interested in, in uh, keeping an eye on these Pathers here. I'm not doing a, not a very active job at it, but it is nice. This is, I think this is the final boss down here, and uh, that's the third floor you can see here. And this is the, the final set of rooms. Uh, no, you know, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, it kind of looks like the final area, but I can't see if there's a teleporter pad. I thought there was a room behind him that lets you get out. So maybe I'm not looking at the right thing. Oh, there it is. There. That's the final room. With no, Maybe. Never mind. Just ignore me. It's been a very long time since I've been down there, so I may just be making things up. <coughs> In a minute here, I'm going to have to... Um, make my decision about moving in and either trying to clear a spot for myself in the next room uh, to work with or go. Right. I really don't want to run right down there and fight a necro and two other things and a pet when I'm only at 60% hit points so I'm probably going to kill a couple things in this room up here first to clear out a spot to try and get set from and give my hit points a little more time to recover hopefully so I won't get beat up while I'm waiting uh, for that to happen Great. Well, that one's not one I can dodge either. If I'm coming back in here on a corpse run, because he just paths back from like that spot through this hallway and then back. So I really, unfortunately, I really need to kill him. Um, and uh, hope that he respawns something more friendly for me to use. I will just kill him and leave alive whatever else I'm fighting with, which looks like it's going to be this guy who's going to smack me before I get a mez off. Just in time. So I will charm the goo and just... It's already charmed. I'm kind of used to my pet window being over here. I moved it to the middle so that my target and my pet windows are closer together to keep an eye on them more easily, like without out of the corner of my eye, you know. And uh, didn't notice that he was charmed. Anyway, I'll hopefully this nibbler picks up the pace here, and I can just kill the goo. And that way, you know, I, I have my best chance of this area respawning with nothing they can see in Viz. So. If I do have to corpse run, um, this is a big part of what I would do. You know, a lot of people would watch a video of me and I don't know what that poison dot proc was from that goo, but it looks like it might have been pretty nasty. I don't know if it's a disease. Hits for 30 up front. Remind me not to get meleeed by these goos very much. <coughs> anyway, a lot of people would watch the videos of me like soloing on my other enchanter at 60 and Howling Stones, and they'd see me in there for a half hour, and I'd, you know, I'd have a short video where I kill one named spawn that has a drop on him that at the time was worth like 30,000 plat, and uh, they'd be like, you know, people would say stuff like, oh yeah, sure, soloing in Howling Stones is easy when you've got a bunch of gear and whatever, but, oops, I forgot this guy's dotted, I hope I get XP for him. I'm, I'm just going to kill him. Whatever. Um, but they wouldn't see the, the two hours of. five hours of getting two sets of keys and all the time I spent, you know, keeping my keys fresh on corpses so that I can always get back into the zone when need be uh, if I do die and, you know, my keys are on my corpse in the wing and the times I die trying to get into the wing because group came through and killed stuff and left a mix of undead and, uh, undead and living stuff up so that I can't just invis in easily and you know so uh, stuff like this that I'm doing right now killing things that are not ideal to have spawned even though even if they're not the thing that I'm actually interested in it's it helps to have you know low level stuff or you know 
if you don't like fighting casters, it helps to have melee stuff spawned, it helps to have stuff spawned that doesn't see invis. So when you do get in trouble, when you do die, or even if you just want to move from spot to spot or something, you can um, you know, you can do that without much trouble. And uh, I always have said about enchanters like soloing that it's about preparation, you know. Um, and it, it holds true at all levels, but you know, the higher level you get and the less room you have for error, the less chance you have of recovering from a bad luck resist or charm break, you know, the more important it is that you do everything ahead of time you possibly can to improve your odds. And that includes stuff like this, preparing for unfortunate corpse runs. Oh well, at least I uh, didn't take any hit point damage. Um, so I'll uh, you know, slowly be regenerating my hit points before I try to deal with that goo on that stairway up there. Trying to, I'm trying to keep mesmerization and two stuns in my spell lineup and keep charm up there all the time so that I can use it whenever I need it. Which means I'm down to swapping in two nukes, Tosh, uh, buffs, all in these two slots here. I'm trying to get back in the habit of remembering to do it the second nature. I'm not quite there yet. Um, let's let's invis and see if I can sneak sneak in this next room, from, right? And hope that these two things here respawn as uh, not goos, not biles, so that way I don't have to worry about coming back to kill them. Um, I thought I saw one in here moving around, but maybe not. You know, I, I might actually have a safe spot in here. I don't know if anything spawns in or walks through this corner. I saw that gnome kind of path on it, that one that was over here. Yeah, he paths on an angle there, goofy pathing. Um, I'm thinking I probably am not going to get aggroed by him sitting here especially if I hug this corner because I, by the time he's close enough that he would aggro he won't have line of sight to me. This might actually be the first safe point that I've found in the zone. I haven't been looking too much but it's always nice to know where they are. Um, you know you can sit down here and uh, you know do whatever. Go AFK, rest up, rebuff and not have to worry about getting attacked. It's, it's a good thing. Uh, so maybe I'll yeah, it looks like it's going to be a safe spot. I don't see anything else moving around. So maybe I'll kill the stuff that's in... Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I keep saying I want... Maybe I'll kill the stuff that's in here to have some room, but then they might just respawn as vials, and I'd have more to deal with than that one down there in the first place. So, um... My goodness. This is just not my day. And now he's going to be hard to get, get out there to kill without gating out and coming at him from the other side because he's going to aggro me if I try to sneak out of this room. Alright, well, maybe I'll just... see what happens. I'm trying to finagle my view around a little bit here to try and get a target on something down there combined sight to watch for um, sorry this is slow going here I really I said before I really don't want to die anymore in here and that's true right now so I'm trying to do my best to figure out how I can kill that vial without over getting overwhelmed There's definitely three things wandering back and forth right here, but I don't know. You know, that gnome from up top might aggro also, because he kind of walks across the stairway. Oh, Ooh, he passed to a little bit di different spot than he did last time. Make me a little nervous. I would like to say that I could just hop over that edge with Invis up and uh, stun the three mobs that are down there and AoE Mez and go to town. The AoE Mez will hit five things. It counts me as one of the targets, even if I am don't get Mez. 
So I should be able to mez the three mobs, the pet, and my hopefully resist it myself. And then uh, get everything rooted and get a pet charmed and, and work from there. But if there's a fourth or a fifth or NPC that walk into that spot from the room beyond, or if that gnome, when he paths at an angle across the stairwell, aggros, either one of those things would be a big problem when I'm already dealing with that many mobs. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of tempted to go for it. So. And uh, if it doesn't work out, then I'll just um, have corpse charm. I think all my buffs are set. <coughs> going on here. I must be on... I was on the wrong camera mode and I was in Viz so I couldn't tell where I was. There we go. That would have made for a quick fight. First stun resisted, or first stun interrupted. So, yeah, there was the... I'm not sure why that goo didn't get mezzed. I think it should've. Um, I thought there were only five mobs there. And uh, I was targeted on myself. Maybe that AoE mez only hits four things. Maybe I was uh, mistaken. But, uh, you know, if I would've hit every... Let's see here. So, there were three mobs and a pet, and I thought that when I was, after I got them stunned, I thought I targeted myself to cast my mess so that it would be centered and hit all of them on either side of me, but it looks like, um, well, the goo did get mezzed. What happened there? Um... Was it just that dwarf that was hitting me? Um, I'm gonna check my actual log here quick to see to see what happened. <coughs> yeah, while I'm metting up here quick, I'm gonna go check my, my actual log to see what exactly got me killed, just for future reference. That sucks. That should have worked out alright. Um, I got a little antsy moving around, I think, when um, the dwarf, I guess it was just the dwarf that was hitting me, was kept interrupting my stun and I moved and interrupted it once myself, and uh, he ended up killing me off all by himself after I'd barely got hit by the first four things before I could get him messed. Um, that probably would have been salvageable. I would have at least gotten the goo killed and then gated out, um, unless uh, yet another NPC would have wandered in on me. I I'm not sure exactly. Hello? Looks like a group might be moving in. Um, anyway, I'm going to go check my log quick, and then I'll uh, be back to move in. <coughs> Excuse me.
So I did it again. I don't know how long I was muted for just now, but uh, I, I apparently just need to stop using the. I just need to stop using a mute button at all because it, I'm, you know, it's a toggle microphone on off button, and apparently I'm either not hitting it or I'm hitting it when I don't think I am, or I'm you know whatever. So you guys are listening to me cough probably and not listening to me talking, which sucks. So I'll definitely have to include a long uh, commentary about what I'm doing in here in the video since my voice commentary is going to be all mess messed up. Damn it. <laughs> well, I'm going to be killing something naked. Um, boy, it didn't seem like my corpse was that far in there. I would've, maybe I'll try to lull these guys. I guess I just need to calm the goo and then vis past the other one. But, uh, yeah, so if you've been missing my commentary, sorry about that. Um, I've basically just been talking about... Oh, how I was confused about how I died and whether I was in vis or not when I first dropped down, and then if I was in vis... Why, if, if it was just one ad that was beating on me, or if there was more than one thing attacking me because my mez didn't hit everything I thought it did, or what. Well, hopefully I can reloot here and just drop down there and try again. Oh! So, it's not a space, safe spot after all. <clears throat> I don't have my clicky you did looted yet, so I can't get him dealt with quickly. I'll, uh, I'll calm him and, uh, and blur him so that he wanders off again. Although it's kind of sucks that this isn't actually a safe spot. Now I can't use it. that I sat here for as long as I did before and it didn't um, he never came at me whoops that would have been bad Viz, I'll give him another blur and then hopefully that's enough to yeah, let's see if he found let's see if it worked. There, okay. I kinda miss being a dark elf actually for once. Um, I made this guy a high elf for the higher charisma. It seemed to me that looking at Velius gear um, before it came out that there actually isn't really a lot of charisma gear that you can get that's more than Kunark gear. Every other stat gets a lot better, especially hit points and mana, um, and every other random stat. But it doesn't seem like it's easy to get charisma on pieces that are good overall. So I picked High Elf for this guy, thinking that the higher base charisma and 25 points in charisma would give me a better leg up on keeping my charisma near max in Velius and still being able to get some of the other better pieces of gear. But uh, but I miss it hide a little bit because it was a nice way to quickly and easily check to see if your blur was successful without having to use a spell and a cast time and mana and memming a spell slot and everything. Well, I'm fully buffed again. A little hurt. I'll met up to full and then I'll try to drop down there and do it again and see if it works this time. I'll make sure that I'm actually invisible. I'll make sure that my mic is actually on. And uh, hopefully I can pull it off this time and uh, then I can proceed to move down to the next floor. Um, been streaming, recording for 38 minutes already and haven't even gotten down to the floor that I wanted to be this video for. Did manage to lose um, a fair amount of XP though. That's always good. Mm 
Hmm. Hopefully I don't lose invis with this gnome sitting here right in front of me. Drop my rune, beat me up again, have to blur him again. Right. Hopefully I just need my invis to last for like another 15% mana and then I'll, like I said, I'll drop down there and try to AoE stun, AoE mess, root everything, charm the bile, get him killed. And then I'll probably just gate out and I'll run back in here again. Lull that bile upstairs again, or maybe kill him. And then uh, hope that this one doesn't respawn as yet another bile that is going to make it a problem to get back downstairs. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll just suicide everything down there that I can and uh, hope it clears out that back room there so that I can set up in there and to get my my buffs refreshed and um, get your element, elemental illusion up and everything. Alright, um, I'm going to pull this a little closer to the front door so that if on the off chance a cleric is in here, I can get a res. Ceilings are so low here, I can't get a look at what's down there. Okay, here goes. Why is she still hitting me? Oh, I messed myself. That's not good. They're gonna... Hopefully mine wears off just before theirs does or else I'm gonna get beat up here when I'm trying to channel, get my stun off. Spamming my button. Come on. That's the first time I've actually messed myself. Looks like I'm probably going to die again. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Here comes this gnome to break my invis, though. Or might break my. Oh, and he didn't even get to me, so I'm still messed. <laughs> Uh, not going good. My fast cast stun is too small of an area to hit these things um, when Mez does wear off. So, Oh, but hey, maybe I'll get a chance. Maybe I'll be able to survive after all because my pet picked up aggro on stuff. Why? 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 <laughs> Stop mezzing me, please. I'm just gonna see if I can still salvage this. Remember, my goal here is to gate out after my pet dies, which is rapidly approaching here. Um, I just need to hope that I don't get another add and nothing breaks root here in the two seconds, five seconds it takes me to get out of here. Come on, let me out. Uh, well, very messy when it worked. That was... I didn't have Endure Magic up, which was my bad. But that was pretty bad luck, getting messed by my own spell three times in a row also. Um, at 66 Magic Resist, I've never been messed by it until this point. And uh, three times in a row, even if I have a little lower resistance, it's pretty bad luck. <laughs> well... So what I'm going to do now is uh, rebuff and met up yet again um, a little bit. Hey, there's a cleric. What the hell is everybody doing over here running around but not coming inside? Anyway, I'll try to drag my corpse to get a res, apparently is what I'm doing. Anyways, 
so I'll see about getting a res since I'm low on hit points and mana anyways. It's not a big deal, you know. Um, if I were at full hit points and mana, I wouldn't even bother getting a res because the 9% the XP I get back or whatever isn't worth the time it takes me to rest up from a res. Um, but since I'm low anyways, I might as well go get one. And I'm not having much luck in here at the moment anyways. So, so yeah, I'll run in and see if I can grab my corpse and bring it out. Well, I don't even know what the hell's going on in here. There's, there's lots of, like, mid to upper level people who run around in this zone, apparently. And to my knowledge, there's, like, nothing here worth looting. Um, but they're here anyways, and uh, killing stuff at the entrance, and it'll probably respawn as stuff that'll be a problem for me. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can... Snag a res here. And, uh, then get down to that second level and piss around down there for a little bit before I get tired of it and want to give up. <laughs> Sorry that I'm not being too successful. As I was saying before, uh, a lot of the streams that I've done in the past were only of successes, and I tended to cut out or leave out. Where the hell did that cleric go? Didn't seem like he was very social anyways. I haven't run into hardly anyone who was very helpful uh, in leveling up this character so far. Most everyone, if you chat with them, even if you're cordial, just totally ignore anything you say. They don't even reply. Don't look your way. I, uh, I, I'm pretty good about randomly, you know, throwing clarities and, and uh, hastes on people when I run past them in random zones and stuff like that. And I think at least half the people that I've done that with since I created this guy and started playing uh, don't even get a thank, out, thank you out of them. Ingrates. <coughs> so I guess I'm stuck sitting here medding up and healing up and I'm going to have to rebuff a little bit before I drop drop down again. I'll all this got this dude and try to get in the back room before there's a respawn and uh, go down to the next level at least to at least check it out and see what it looks like for a short period of time and uh, hopefully, hopefully I don't die as soon as I get down there. This dwarf is going to path right in front of me I believe but after she gets out of the way I'll uh, calm that bile and invis in there again. Since I don't believe there's anything in there that will see me now. Unless there was something that was really tucked back in there and hidden. Boy, my poor hit points. I think I can buy and move when I'm invisible. Looks like it. <coughs> for you, but boy, it's a lot better than the base regenerate for uh, a sitting enchanter is. <laughs> Even with that troll form, doesn't help much. Apparently I got the spawns backwards. I thought that dwarf was the one who pathed close to me, but I guess it's this goblin. And I think I might be able to... Oh, she's still so close, though. Alright, I guess I'll, I'll keep waiting. Like I said, I don't want to die anymore. I already died in here once. Good lord. That 
is a no. The one person who's anonymous is not a cleric. Or he's a bum and he's just not very friendly. Alright. Trying to con that dwarf, never once targeted him. Alright, well. Boy, the pathing in here is abysmal. Look at this shit. It's just everywhere, walking over stairwells and over pits and stuff. It makes you wonder, because, like, you know, that dwarf who just walked over the pit right in front of me, if I were down in the bottom of the pit sitting down there, would he have aggroed me? Would he have, like, appeared right on top of me? Would he have tried to path, like, all over the place to get to me and train the whole zone on me? Who knows? Um, feels like... I think I saw a comment to this effect, too, on the forum somewhere that pathing is worse now than it was a year ago for some reason. I don't know why exactly the person thought that, but uh, it definitely hasn't been great in the time I've spent in dungeons. Mobs are taking direct routes everywhere they want to go, even if that means they're walking through walls or over empty space and stuff like that. Let's get a air elemental illusion up. As I said before, I don't think I can yeah, there's a bottom on the pit, so you can't see down it to see what... Where'd that gnome go? There, there she is. <coughs> Try to get another rune up here quick while I... Hopefully I'm safe in this corner. It sounds like something's walking my way, so I'm gonna invis and... Make sure there's nothing right here. Oh, yeah, he was coming my way. It wasn't what I heard, but... Uh, kind of bummed. You know, I'm wondering if there are really any safe points in here or if the pathing is, is uh, keeping there from being any truly safe points. I know that dwarf walks at least to right here because he aggroed me when I was sitting out there trying to clear everything else. I don't know what the gnome does if she just walks back and forth over there or... I'm not really in a great spot to be dropping down here because if I aggro one or two things, you know, already at half health, and I don't know exactly what level stuff is down there. I believe I remember seeing a Cly, a uh, who's possibly a wizard, um, a Goo, a Nixar, who is either a Necro or a Monk, all waiting down there for me. So we'll find out here in a moment uh, what's down there. I'm ready to go for it, I think. I guess I'm going to have to lev trick a little bit to get up over this edge while I'm... Ooh, I lost my edge. Can't do it anymore. Bobbing too fast. Okay. Alright, so I'm running this direction when I come down and hoping... Actually, I guess I'm going to sit over here and hope that I don't aggro the bile at all. Cross my fingers. Cool. It was good luck. He was all the way over there on the other side of the room. So, a wizard, probably a necro. I don't remember what moves where. I just remember seeing this guy walk back and forth, but I didn't pay attention to if there was anything else moving around. I know there are goos in the rooms right here, both of these. One of them has a named goo that spawns in it. Um, he's the one that drops like the fighting baton and some monk stuff. Uh oh. Did not see that goo walk on an angle like that when I was watching before. I do believe there is a safe spot down here, however. Definitely safe in here. It's on the back side of a trap door. That pattern on the floor right there leads down to the third level, so I'm like 95% positive that this is safe in here for me to... Not a great spot to try and fight in, of course, because I can't see what's up there from down here. And I need to go up there and pull down into this area to fight, so... Not a place I want to stay, but at least I know I can tuck down in here and hide. <coughs> Even if it's not going to keep me safe for long. <laughs> Goo. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sneak out of here. Well, so far it's just the goo path and back and forth that it looks like. 
Um, so I'm probably going to try and kill these two right next to me to get me a little room to work with. I'm really not comfortable down here at all right now. I'm going to die or get chased out. Seems pretty sure. I don't know if there's invisible walls in here. Or... Yeah, see, there's a go. I kind of worked myself into a tight spot right here, haven't I? Wait for this one to move, and then I guess I will go kill some of the stuff back here. So I at least can say I killed some things on this floor, <laughs> even though uh, I'm not confident in it. Probably because I was getting worked over and having such issues upstairs, and that stuff is pretty... I mean, it's almost green con stuff to me right now. So dropping down and getting higher level uh, makes me a little nervous. Definitely, that XR is definitely a necro. I don't think I'm going to be able to snag them with an AoE charm, so I'm going to try to lull one of them. Just so that I can mez the other one. Is something? Oh, it's just that goblin. I'll try to lull the XR and um, hopefully I don't get a resist. And then I will just charm this Cly. Mez him and charm him in the corner right there. And I'll move over here to fight. And try to... Wow, he comes all the way over here, but he maybe doesn't assist. Oh, that would be pretty sweet if I could get rid of that pecker right there. I'm going to have to keep this XR walled. As I kind of suspected, my pet is going to very much work over that goo. My pet is... can't tell what level he is yet. Well, he hasn't hit very hard, but he cast a 172 nuke, so I'm guessing that's level 24, or not level 29. Ooh, pet is dotted now. Not good for me. I can't mez him to recharm now that dot from the uh, goo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on put this Hixar on him also. Oh a train that'll be exciting. Ah uh, it's probably up top though because he's only level 20. One can hope, right? So yeah, since my pet's dotted already I'll put him on this Hixar. Looks like he's out of mana too. So he'll die fighting the Hixar and then I'll have some room to work with over here. Actually, he's getting really close to dying right now, but that XR might not have a lot of time left before his low wears off, so I'm going to make him my next pet. You know, this Cly is actually going to lose to the Goo. He got off like 300, damages, 300 damage in nukes to start the fight, and he still managed to get himself killed. I'm going to put... I was kind of hoping that he wasn't going to have line of sight to me. Oh, maybe he did nuke my pet. Shaman. Shaman nuking me pretty hard. Alright. I'll get full XP for this goo anyways. Didn't have many hit points. my clarity. Goblin's trying to heal himself, so he make it a little more of a fight for the XR than it has been so far, because he will heal and keep meleeing between heals. I'm going to save. I'm going to wait to cast clarity, because I'm going to try to finish this fight up quick and want to make sure I have the mana to get it done. to get this guy killed fighting a wizard now. 
and do my best to make sure that he does not cast any dots on the wizard. Oh, it's not a wizard. <laughs> it's a, a shaman or a necromancer. Alright. Well, I guess I'll try to kill both these guys off then here. And, uh, rebuff after that. Let's see where I can move. At least I've... Oh, crap. At least I've put together a decent fight here. Didn't get killed right away. Didn't have my microphone turned off the whole time. Hopefully my pet doesn't get dispelled here. Huh? Always sucks when a mob dispels your charm. <laughs> you weren't expecting it. But yeah. Well, at least I salvaged this fight. And I'm basically clearing this room here. Uh, pretty safely. I'm going to have ten minutes before anything in it respawns, and then I'll, I'll still have some safe spot, I think, until that bile respawns, uh, starts moving around again. I'll at least be able to gnome, gnome hack through some walls to get an idea of you know, what's going on in the rooms next door, if there's any names up, or if I want to drop down to the third level and uh, see what's going on down there. Wow. Got heat blood, here it comes. Oh, disempowered. Much better. Thank you. <laughs> I don't mind having my strength heal up. Don't think that was a chanter page. Alright. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now I can rebuff, rest up, and then I'll fire up the gnome illusion and uh, check out these rooms here, see what's going on in them before uh, I get respawns that I have to deal with. There's an exit from the floor uh, from the, the dungeon. Like, for people who aren't familiar with this dungeon, I guess I haven't done much to explain it. There's, um, there's no normal exits. You have to find little teleporter pads that zap you back outside to um, uh, Warslick's Woods. And, uh, Um, I think there's one teleporter on this level and one on the third level. They're tucked back in a corner, which is the trick because you, you sometimes can't just invis to them, you know, because if there's stuff that sees invis in the way, well, that's a problem. Um, and the one down on the third level is way, way back there. I'm gonna forego recasting my AC buff and my um, my haste buff that gives agility to try and keep me moving along here. I believe my rune is good. Major shielding probably will last another 10 minutes at least, so I'll leave those alone. Just throw up Gnome and Metup. pleased with myself. It doesn't look like the stuff that I just killed was any higher level than the stuff above. The highest melee hit I saw was a... F well, I don't even know, because this, this might have been when I was getting killed previously. Yeah, I don't think... This stuff all looks like it's below level 30 still, probably. Pretty much the same stuff as upstairs, just the cly mixed in instead of just a bunch of uh, coerced. Uh, kind of thought it'd be higher level down here, but I made some of my XP up at least from my death, so i met up a little bit more before I poke around just in case I aggro anything. <coughs> oh, this stream's definitely going to be longer than my last one, uh, video. Boy, it took a long time to upload an 80-minute, you know, doll near first floor video to YouTube. I've never used YouTube before, so I'm not used to it. Can't tell if I like Twitch or this better. It's nice that I can do this without having to worry about my connection, you know, and having to upload a lower quality video because of it. Um, although Twitch is nice because it just saves it automatically. I don't have to worry about trying to upload or anything. And... Uh, you know, viewers can 
harass me with questions to help distract me and get me in even more trouble than I get myself already. But uh, this works out alright. Hopefully my videos are entertaining. Uh, people like watching them. I know this one's been fairly slow. Uh, oh well. You know, what can you do? Good thing I'm not here three levels earlier. Top floor wouldn't have been bad because the corpse zones are easier, but if I start dying down here, um, you know, I start having real issues with stuff between the entrance and my body respawning as... Although I guess I could probably drag directly up to the next floor without having to drop down here, which mm, is good. But once, yeah, once you start dealing with stuff respawning between you and the entrance that can see in Viz, it's trouble for an enchanter. Um, at 60, with my other enchanter, I would keep um, a bunch of charisma gear in the bank so that I could, if I really needed to in, in a nasty high-level dungeon, I could get my charisma up near 250 again, even when I'm on a corpse run, to uh, give me a better chance of being able to calm uh, things on my way in that can see in Viz. Um, so that, you know, I can sneak by and go get my actual corpse without getting a crit resist on, uh, on LOL and getting myself killed again. Okay. Uh, look through these windows as a gnome. Oh, see, I thought there was a goo there. It's just a carpet. There's some goos. I don't see the named one. I think it's called a lumpy goo. I th it's one of these rooms. Not the carpet one. Maybe it's the next one back. So I can't... I, I believe the... The exit portal is back this way. Through there. There's a bunch of clies and some small rooms back there. So it looks like I would need to kill this gyrating goo in order to get back there. I actually think... I have a good chance at snagging him right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go for it quick and try to kill him before I get respawns. Um, oh, well, dang. Now I don't know if I might get that Cly assisting, depending on the angle. Yeah, he definitely... I need to wait for him to move back to the other side, and then I'll uh, pull those guys out of there and try to get the goo killed and leave the nibbler alive, hopefully so that uh, I can make my way to the exit show you where it is. <coughs> no names up, so I don't feel uh, inclined to go try to kill anything specific. I'm just going to move around, explore a little bit. I'll try to get to the exit pad to show you where it is, then I might drop down to the third level, see what's going on down there. Alright, I'm going to try to pull these out. And, uh, shit, don't have a good angle at it. Alright, well here goes. Hopefully I only get two. Or one, because the goos have weird assist. Well, at least I guess that means that the goo probably isn't... If I do aggro him directly, he's probably not going to get help from anything. So I can go... Give him a little smackaroo. Well, I'm going to bet on him not getting assistance. I should have plenty of time to kill this guy. Oops. Guess I can throw that back up. Should have plenty of time to get this guy killed before I have respawns in this room. And then I'm guessing I might even be able to tuck myself around that corner right there where I pulled the goo from safely until the, those these two respawn. Uh, there was a goblin and the goo that passed back and forth around here, but I don't know if either of them went over there. Maybe I'll find out here in a minute. Depending on what's farther in, I might not be able to move in safely to show you the exit pad. See, this stuff must be a little higher level, because I'm not going to get a resist on Root or a nuke 
off something that's toshed and seven or eight levels below me. Uh, I don't know what level exactly they are, but they're not 25. Oop. My level 20 stun is just long enough that I can recast Beguile um, using a clicky to get through the, the spell gem faster, which is nice. 62, that's only level 29 or 30, so stuff's still not too high in here. I might as well get full XP for these. So, I'll do that. Uh-oh, that's a harm touch. Apparently the respawns were more common than I thought they were. I don't think I have enough time to piss around in here now. I'm probably going to have to GTFO or uh, take my chances with a corpse run. I'll do that for the sake of being a little more interesting. Hopefully she blurred. I'll measure again and hit her with a blur to hope it actually works. And then I'll invis and move into that point that I'm wondering if it's a safe spot and hope that it actually is. Because this room's going to be repopping on me and I don't know where it does repop. Cool. Alright myself in here and hoping that it's safe. I'll do my best to met up here. I'm going to lose major shielding pretty soon. <coughs> Hit points pretty low. But uh, I'll try to recover here a little bit and find out if it's safe except for the, the spawns that are right there that I killed. And then I'll try to go in and uh, find that teleporter pad. I'm going to pull a map up. I've been doing most of my time in here without a map because it's not too hard. I've kind of known my way around anyways. But uh, Once I drop down, I know the general lay of things, but I don't know the specific turns. I don't want to get caught going around the wrong corner. Looks like I just take lefts to get to the teleporter pad out. friends. I really need to get a C and Viz clicky so that I think the teleporter pad's gonna be pretty close to there. It doesn't look like anything's respawned that can C and Viz, eh? That's all of them. There is the teleporter pad out right down there. Looks like I might be able to get to it. I don't see any uh, files in the way. Yep. So a good spot to probably set up if you wanted to stay in here and XP. Oh, bugger. So much for getting all the way to it. I assume he's going to see me. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll hang out here for a minute and see if there's any pathers. And uh, I don't really... I guess I should go down to the third floor, huh? We're in here for Dalnir, and I don't really want to do another video in here. Although if I hit 34 and drop down, I bet there's still... I bet everything's still blue down there. Even if stuff on this level only jumped up a couple. Um, 
a 20, level 26 will, level 27 will still be dark blue to me if I hit 34, and I'm sure everything down there will be. So, so maybe I'll wrap this video up here, um, and I will continue, uh, working on some XP. See, there's the river that I mentioned in my previous video that is, uh, well, that's a lot of Cly tucked into that room right there. <laughs> Looks like the uh, the swarms of Cly that you see, or the swarms of Sarnik that you see in the fort in Lake of Illumin. Except they're not moving around as much, but there's still a lot of them in there. There's the drop down. Four rooms down there, I think, where the drop down is. And this, this, uh oh. You feel yourself caught off guard. Okay, so I think, um, I guess there's no point in me ending the video. I just don't have a whole lot more to say at the moment uh, about what I've been doing. I'm going to kill some more stuff, uh, get some more XP. I'll probably bugger out if I run into trouble. See about hitting 34 and then uh, going down to the third floor. Got enough supplies to last me, so I don't know. It's not like I need to restock before I uh, go down to adventure for another half a level. Mm -hmm. Kind of tempted to drop down and see if I can set up shop in one of the rooms right by the drop down. I do not want to go kill stuff by the teleporter out of the third level because I think the stuff that spawns down there is quite a bit higher. Let's see what the wiki says. It looks like the highest name trash or the highest level trash in here is only about 32 33, so I could still kill it. It'd be a tough fight. Because um, if I'm charming something that's much lower than that, it'll have a really hard time killing what's basically a retcon for it. But I'll have a hard time keeping something that's level 32 or 33 charmed. And, uh, and since root will be hard to stick also, anytime charm breaks I'll be getting beat on by my pet and something else, which will end in me dying quickly and horribly in tight quarters like this. So uh, the final boss in the wing, or in the dungeon, is level 40. <laughs> so I think he has some kind of proc too that he does um, not just a spell, so he's extra nasty. But I'll, I'll stick around here and get some XP. Maybe I'll... Let's see what this looks like in here. <laughs> Excuse me. It'd be nice to try and break those rooms up. But with two spawns right here, like three there, three here, and maybe one of the guys from this room pathing too close to that room, I don't think I could do it. I just, the respawns in here are pretty quick, and I just don't have enough sustained damage with mobs beating on each other to get stuff cleared. Um, it, if I were pulling three or four things at a time and just letting my pet, pets bite the bullet and die for me, I probably could clear things out quick enough to clear out those named rooms over there, but um, you know the fights get very risky when I'm doing that, and uh, you know if anything goes wrong, I would die for sure. So I don't really feel like doing that. I would like to. My ex my XPing was going very quickly in Nagina Salasek A CT because. Um, and then when I started making videos and came to Dalnir, it slowed down a lot. And I'm okay with that because this has been pretty fun. I enjoy making the videos uh, overall, and this is a cool zone, even if I've not been getting great XP or much loot at all in here. But I, I would like to continue leveling a little more quickly for a while. Uh, although I still have to visit Crystal Caverns, and I don't know the zone at all. And I need to visit Paw, which I'm not too familiar with. So I might go... I'm thinking right now, like I said, I'll just, where, oh, that's the guy upstairs dropping down through the pit. So he does come all the way down here. He probably would aggro you. 
Well, that Clyde Believer is supposed to be high level. That was one of, oh, he is high level. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I don't really want to fight him. I think I'm going to drop down to the third floor and see what's going on down there. Um, and then I'm going to call my stay in Dalnir, complete for videos anyways. Now, I'll drop down and look around the third floor and uh, turn off my video and make 34, and then I'll probably go hit up Paw for a little bit at least, because uh, I think there's just one spot there that was recommended to me to do at 34. Although it was recommended for a duo, so we'll see if I go oh, solo. But I'll go try that out and um, see if I can get myself horribly trained in Paw a few times. And after that, I'll probably go to Crystal Caverns and uh, explore my first Valius dungeon ever. Now if I die down here, I'm going to be SOL in terms of getting my body out without dropping down. So hopefully there's no mobs that seem viz right here where I pop out. I also don't know what direction I'm facing, so I need to get a map here quick. So no, Ooh, that's a vial. I don't know where it was, but I heard one. <laughs> wow, I just got out of the way of that thing. Maybe it's one of the ones that doesn't attack, but still, that was that was pretty close for comfort. Okay, so I am. Come on. Two hundred oh no, come on, two hundred cents heading. Let's go here. I'm north of the little drop down facing south A. Okay, I have to go back through that main room. Straight through that main room and it leads out. I guess that's one that doesn't aggro. Because I was standing awfully close to him for quite a while. All these footsteps are making me really nervous. Where did he come from? I turned around and he... Sneaky little dwarves. I believe this is... Ooh, nasty. I, don't, I do not want to fight even cons. This would be... Oh, I went the wrong way. This, there's a named room. I don't know what spawns in there, but there's something that's named. Uh, you know, this would be a, <coughs> excuse me, a good spot for a group in the mid-30s to XP, I guess. Because if there's even cons, I can't believe the blues are much lower than that. And I wouldn't want to be down here in anything less than a solid group at a respectable, you know, 33, 34 level. I should probably go gnome in here to... Uh, Let me do a little scouting. I'm definitely on my way out now. I'm not going to stop and fight down here. I'm going to head to the teleporter that leads out of the dot bottom of the dungeon so that I can at least say that we've seen the whole dungeon on the stream videos. And then I will um, call it good for videos. Call it good for videos and uh, see about making 34 and getting over to Paw. secret doors there than I thought. Oh, that's that room that's just such a mess that I saw. I wonder if I can get back through this. Maybe if I had a stalking probe, which I do not. Well, there's still nibblers over here, so hopefully there aren't any more biles hanging out ready to reveal me to the swarms of Sarnix. I'm dive. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, well, I might just be gating out of here, I guess, because I'm not going to be able to get past that guy, I don't think. Boy, this pathing. Terrible. 
where did that goo go? I mean, these mobs that are level like 32, 33 are going to hit for like 80. So they'll kill me so fast if I get aggro. I don't think I can mess around. I don't really care to mess around, I'll put it that way, with trying to get my way out of here. I'm just going to gate out and seek a little safer XP. So, I explored most of the zone anyways, even though I am chickening out to fighting in the bottom of it. Definitely a cool zone. I mean, it's a shame that it's not more worthwhile to visit in terms of loot. You know, there's not really anything here for basically anyone, uh, especially now with the Thalius out. Much superior monk weapons to a fighting baton are uh, available more easily than putting a group together and crawling around the second level of Dalnir. And, you know, there are a couple enchanter pieces I drop on the second floor, I think. They're not very good. Uh, the final boss drops like a hit point AC magic resist helm, which is pretty nice, but still, you know, for the effort, not worth it. So, I think I'm going to call it good for the stream, for the, the recording. I'm all pushing an hour and a half, so if anybody actually stuck with me this long, I'd be surprised. But uh, at least we got to see the whole zone and. You know, I had some good fights and died a few times. <laughs> Usually my bad. Um, I'm definitely just going to make 34 now. Uh, itching to get some new spells, get some more levels after slowing down quite a bit. You know, I was making two or three levels a day from 20 to 30. And then, uh, you know, I've only, I have only haven't even made a level a day since I started making a video on CT. I, I don't think... So, it'll be good to get some levels and then move to a new spot and get some more levels, hopefully, in Paw, and then I'll go explore Avelius Dungeon. We'll see how Crystal Caverns goes, not knowing it at all, and uh, not knowing even what level it is, really. But, uh, yep, I'll see you on the next video.